Hi everyone, this is Malu. I'm a Brazilian economist from the University of Brasilia and a recent graduate from the Behavioral Science Master Program here in LAC. And today I'm going to take you on a tour around LAC Generate, a fantastic initiative for students interested in becoming entrepreneurs. So if this sounds like you, come along with me. in LEC Generate um, and this is Taylor and she's gonna do a with us today and show a little bit more about the parkland. Please. So Taylor, how are you today? Can you share a little bit about yourself and about LEC Generate? Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, I'm Taylor Wall. I'm the International Strategy Lead of LEC Generate. So my role here is to look after all the international activities that we do as part of our overseas offerings to the international students, as well as the recent graduates and alumni as well. So LC Generate, as Malika has just mentioned, we are the Entrepreneurship Center of the university. So we're here to support students and graduates and staff as well at every single stage of their entrepreneurial journey. We're very passionate about supporting businesses that has a social impact because we do believe that Purpose and profit can really go hand in hand. And we also are industry agnostic, which means we welcome our juveniles from all the industry. How does the LEC generate help students to turn ideas into real businesses? What are the main resources and support offered here in LEC generate? So we do everything from early stage incubation to supporting established startups to scale up. Yes. When you really think about what an entrepreneur needs in their journeys, for example, like mentor ones, we have business clinics, so one to ones with our entrepreneurs and residents. And then we also have a longer term measuring scheme as well. We're industry experts. Many of them are alumni actually, trying to give back time with the expertise he's handled time. And then secondly, we also do have a lot of um, startup series. For example, we have startup school and monthly events to really help people to gain that foundational business skills about building startups from the one to ones. And then we also have international exposure. A lot of the international chapters that I manage, there are 19 of them as of today. We run regular events across four different continents to really still engage the alum and giving them a sense of community even beyond the graduation point. Additionally, we then also run a lot of social innovation tracks. We have previously brought people to places like Rwanda, Paris. I think the next one is going to be in the U.S to very much like immerse themselves in a different local ecosystem and really understanding like what the investor climate, what the business climate is like over there. Finally, we also do have a physical space in Lisbon too. Yes. So for anybody who are thinking about, you know, being a digital nomad, they could really go up there and trying to work there for a few days free of charge and you went to LC. We also obviously have the local uh, London-based office space as well that we welcome anybody who are working on the business from LSD to come in and visit or maybe use some of the desk for working as well and then for people who are validating that concept we also do have funding competition and if they're ready to take the next step and do the business to the next level they can always participate in the LSD um, generate award-winning accelerator which is a really great experience for the startups to get together to have the peer support network but also have multiple sessions that are carefully crafted to fit the business needs for them to be accelerated. Oh, let's not forget that we are also one of the community partners with What is Submit, which is one of the biggest tech conferences in the world. So every year they run um, a big occasion in both Lisbon as well as Rio de Janeiro. So for us, it's about bringing that delegation through a scholarship scheme over there to really get to meet a network of innovators and maximizing their uh, brand exposure as much as possible. Let's go to the third question of our third and final question of our interview with Taylor. So what are the three main traits you think someone should have if they want to become an entrepreneur? I can think of three qualities that are quite important in the entrepreneur journey. The first one is being able to adapt very quickly. Yes. As you would know that the market changes very quickly and then the trends are always changing. So for 
a founder to be able to like be flexible and always like up to speed with what's going on in the industry or what the clients are wanting is very important. The second skill set that I would say is also quite important is the ability to empathize with people's needs. When you really understand the pain points and the problems that a person is trying to solve, then you can create a product that people actually want to buy and solve a problem and meet the need. And then finally, what I would say is resilience always can get you far. Being able to really work under pressure, being able to like deal with the ups and downs and being able to get yourself back up again in the face of failure is one of the greatest qualities that a lot of the entrepreneurs that we're seeing are successful would have. Thank you, Taylor, for your time. And thank you guys for watching. And I see you next. Bye-bye.